At High Mountain Hunting Supply, we have a saying that guides us. If we won't use it in the field, we won't sell it in the store. We take that seriously. Every gun, every rod, every bow that we sell is a product you can feel confident will help you land the biggest fish or harvest the biggest game. Our experts will help you find the right product for your needs. Come see us at 12238 North Frontage Road in Moses Lake or 223 North Mission in Wenatchee. High Mountain Hunting Supply, your source for hunting and fishing. Our next story is about a Moses Lake Elementary School's hefty collection for a good cause. Here's Jeff Chu with the story. Longview Elementary volunteers have collected piles and piles and more piles of clothes donated in Moses Lake. Several tons, actually. That according to Longview Parent Teachers Association President Suzanne Johnson, who came up with the idea. We have collected 9,776 pounds, and we still have two drop-off dates. We're adding an additional drop-off date on February 21st from 4 to 7 at our Longview Gymnasium. Donors pulled up to the school last Friday, dropping off even more bags of clothes and other textile items. It doesn't matter what condition, so long as the material is clean and dry, but some of the shirts and other textile items donated appear ready for the second-hand store. The fundraiser is called Clothes for the Cause. Parent Teachers Association fundraising volunteers will turn around and recycle the clothes for cash or sell them to thrift stores to be reused. Johnson told how the fundraising project works. Clothes for the Cause will come and pick up all of these textiles and it'll in turn be sold back to secondhand stores. It can be repurposed. Things that aren't good enough to resell can be turned into shop rigs or um, even insulation for homes. They reuse 98% of what, what will be donating to them. Once we re collect 10,000 pounds, we receive 20 cents per Per pound, yes. The money will be used for special school events and projects that enhance student learning. Longview Elementary School Principal Robbie Mason says she has been pleased with the first-time fundraiser's results. It definitely is an, a new endeavor and a creative way for us to raise funds, help out ultimately local communities. And I think what was interesting to me about this, in addition to being a new fundraiser for us and what I just mentioned is also the recycling aspect. So many of us have un old clothing and textiles and sh worn out shoes and uh, pillows, sheets, blankets, those kinds of things. And all of those things go to this fundraiser to be recycled. So. It really has a nice impact, too, on landfills and reduction of items that would normally go to a landfill. Courtney Playstead, Longview PTA treasurer, has been tracking the bags that come in. The bags come in, we weigh them, we also um, are a charity program, so we're able to offer a receipt to anybody that brings in their bags so that they can write that off on their taxes, just like if they donated something to Goodwill. Donations will be accepted at the school this week with a special drop-off Friday at the school 9783 Apple Drive in North Moses Lake. I'm Jeff Chu for iFiber One News. We'll be right back after this. <laughs> 